Hello and welcome back again. This will be our last session taping of the day and I would just like to take this opportunity to thank Aaron Fuglio. He's uh, my man behind the camera. Uh, as one of my, uh, my better students, he's uh, done a great job today. He's been very helpful and supportive in, in this endeavor. So I'd like to send a thank you to Aaron for his help. Um, what we're going to do today is a lesson that we've been working on the last couple days in class. And today is Wednesday, the 25th of, of March. So this will be relevant and, and pertinent to what your students have been learning. What we've been working on is fractions incorporating the process of multiplying by a whole number. And this comes into importance, if you will, when you walk into a grocery store, perhaps a department store, and you see something that's one-third off of sale or half off of the sale. And so what we've been working on, and quite simply, are fractions, one-quarter of... 40. Okay, and so you might see something that's similar to this in a, in a store. Usually it's one third or one half, but in this particular case it's one quarter of 40. And what we've, what we've talked about is that the word of means to multiply. And so anytime you see this word, whether it be in a word problem or if you see it in a math problem like this, the word of means to multiply. And this is all we have to do. One quarter, replace the word of with the multiply sign or the dot. And I'm going to make a decision here. If you want to have a decision, I'll change this to a dot, which means multiply 40. Now, if you're watching this with your, your son or your daughter, you can ask them, how do you make 40 a fraction? You may remember this from your high school days. You simply put a number 1 underneath of it. And you know that multiplying would go straight across. 1 times 40 is 40. And 4 times 1 is 4. Referring back to my previous lesson, we have an improper fraction here. So the question you must ask yourself is, how many times does 4 go into 40? And if you're familiar with your multiplication tables, you'll know that the answer is 10. And that would be your answer. Of course, I would accept 40 over 4 as a correct response, and I'll also accept 10 as a correct response. So, the most difficult part of this lesson is remembering that of means to multiply. And the second part is, is to always put a 1 underneath the 40. Once you've done those two steps, it's a home run. Thank you for stopping by today, and stay tuned for our next lesson, where we'll talk about dividing fractions and once again with the variables. Thank you and have a good day.